Hey guys, it's Green Zephyr. After an extremely long time, they finally added um, some additional set images onto Brick Set. And it's been a very long time, actually. Originally, they had the question mark over the box image um, for quite some time, even though the images were leaked on Google. And after like, I don't know, like two weeks, they uploaded an image of the box. But like, it was just like the box itself. And then um, just within the past like two days or so they added in the actual um some images there's only three but we're gonna take a look at those here for the Giganotosaurus and Therizinosaurus attack set so this is 810 pieces and is 130 dollars in the u.s and we're gonna look at the images now so here we have the Giganotosaurus um you can see it has some scars on it so on the face and the body, the legs, the tail. Um, and something you may notice is the legs here with the way they are set up. The um, knee, which I showed in one of my other videos, is actually much lower on the um, dinosaur than on the T-Rex, which means the legs are either longer or they're positioned um, in a lower spot in the body, which that may be it. But then we also have the tall um, sail on the back. So that makes it in general bigger than the T-Rex. But the head also looks bigger than that of the normal Indominus head. Um, but I don't know for sure. Just like a, compared to a minifigure it looks bigger. But I don't know. Uh, then we have the Therizinosaurus with three brand new pieces attached to it. So, well I guess four counting the lower, lower jaw. So it has like a little bit of feathers on the head. On the top it has like red printing. Then on the neck it has some... Um, kind of like feathery stuff going on on the chin and stuff has a beak um, then some more feathery stuff going on in the back the arms are brand new as well um, so each one of those is a new piece and then it has the original like these are just like other pieces that they use to make the claws of it that are already existing pieces they have some feathers on the arms here a little stripe going down the side kind of like the interrupter of course, as raptor claws because they don't like reusing pieces. So these are the same legs as the Indoraptor and the same body, of course. Um, and then we have this little tower here. Plants on the bottom and then it goes up. And it's a little um, watchtower with Owen and Claire up there. There's a guardrail and a ladder. And then a little antenna on top. A little area to go inside of here. Then there's Kayla, who is a pilot, and she's in the helicopter from Biosyn. Um, and so it's an interesting helicopter. It has, um, I mean, it's very similar to Maserani's helicopter, other than it's white and has different pieces on the wings. Because um, the other one didn't even have wings, but this one does. Um, so it's kind of cool with turbines there and the little um, propeller on top with the yellow on there. And we have Dr. Wu, and there's the helicopter landing pad. Satellite dish on top. This is like the base area. You can see a little computer with the um, little information thing for the Therizinosaurus and one for the Giganotosaurus. There's a little mug there. Um, that's a coffee maker, I'm assuming, right next to it. Um, some more panels on the inside. And we have some plants down here. We have Ellie Sattler with... Um, a little buggy thing, and I think that's a pickaxe on the back of it. And then Alan Grant with a walkie-talkie. Some more plants on the other side. There's a um, another walkie-talkie there and a um, gas pump to fill up the um, buggy. And then it has a little, um, I'm assuming, microscope thing there. And uh, Biosyn is printed on the um, window there. Uh, and so this is basically a Biosyn lab um, that is shown here. And it has six minifigures. Um, so we're going to look at the additional set images now. So here we have another one. So this is a different angle. So you can see the inside of the lab. So there's Giganotosaurus and Therizinosaurus panels again with the information. You can see some amber um, chilling on a shelf there. There's a coffee maker again. It's actually a yellow cup instead of green. It'll look green from the other side, but that's because of the tint on the window. Um, 
There's a little mosquito information panel by Dr. Wu and another mug there. A skull of a dinosaur, which I don't know what that is. Um, it has one horn on top instead of, well, I guess one on the nose, one on the top. Instead of being like a triceratops with three horns. It's more of like a rhino type thing going on. And there's the gas pump. Um, little gas station thing there. The buggy can park there. Um, there's a fire extinguisher. And a little microscope there. And then it has a little um, red thingy there. I don't know what that is. But it's probably something science related. Or I don't know. Mechanical related for the truck and stuff. I don't know. Um, I'd have to see it in person honestly. There's a little um, yellow and... Um, a little yellow screen there with some information on it. There's a mosquito in amber, an incubating chamber, um, another walkie-talkie area. Um, the incubator has two eggs in it. There's another panel right next to it with um, a yellow screen. Um, and there's like, yeah, I don't know what that thing is it's, that Alan Grant is using. Like, I mean, I feel like it'd be a microscope, but the microscope is next to him um, on the other side. So I don't know. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but it's something. Or maybe, like, extracting the mosquito. D oh, I see. It's getting the DNA out of the mosquito. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, <clears throat> and here we have the minifigures. So we have Alan Grant, Ellie Sattler, Owen Grady, Claire Deering, Kayla Watts, and Dr. Henry Wu. And that is their outfits here um, in this set. And I, the there's two unique to this set, and that's Henry Wu and Alan Grant. And anyway, guys, that is it for the video. So I will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and I will see you later.